Hi, I'm Ryan with Learberg, and as many of you know, we are big fans of these elevated coranda beds. We especially like them when managing multi-dog households. This gives each of our dogs a place to go and hang out while we get other things done, whether it be fold the laundry, cook dinner, and they're not always on top of us. So if dogs are having an especially hard time when the doorbell rings or somebody knocks at the door, they start to go crazy, they run up to the door, they start barking, they run around the house, they're kind of reactive. The beds are an excellent place to add some structure. So every time the doorbell rings, we can ask our dogs to go to their beds. We can add in a little obligation later on by making them stay on their beds. Uh, but we can also start to add in a new cue to go to their bed. So if our dogs are understanding go to their bed with a bed command, go to your bed, place, whatever it might be, now we can add in a cue. And we like to use a doorbell, right? So somebody rings the doorbell, the dog now sees that as a cue to go to their bed. So we like these re wireless remote doorbells because now I can bring them with me into my training space and teach my dogs what the doorbell means as a cue. So now the goal is every time I ring the doorbell, my dog understands that he needs to go to their, he or she needs to go to their bed while I take care of whoever's at the door. So if you've trained the bed cue before and want to add in the doorbell as a new cue, we just simply add the doorbell cue in front of our old cue, whether it be bed or place or whatever you use. So in training, when we want to start adding in a doorbell as a cue, we're simply going to place the doorbell cue in front of our old cue. So it's going to look something like doorbell, go to your bed, reward. Doorbell, go to your bed, reward. Eventually, we want to start fading out the go to your bed cue. And we need to do that once our dog starts showing some sort of understanding of the behavior. So eventually it'll be doorbell, go to your bed, reward. Doorbell, go to your bed, reward. <clears throat> and then it'll be doorbell, and I can still help them with a gesture. They go to their bed, I reward them. Doorbell, I can help them with a gesture, reward them. Eventually, I'll fade out the gesture as well. I can simply ring the doorbell and my dogs understand that they need to go to their bed. This is extremely beneficial when something new comes over, the doorbell rings, and your dogs understand that they need to go to their beds. So I'm gonna set my doorbell chime off to the side just so I have the doorbell button in my hand and so I don't have to hang onto this anymore, but the dog will still be able to hear it. So at first, we're gonna go back to reminding the dog what we're working on, which is just bed, so bed, Boy. And a reward. Okay. Come on. Come on. Bed. Boy. Yes. You can see Arthur is pretty excited to get on the bed, so it's going to be pretty easy to add in a new cue. Oh, I go. Okay. Bed. Come in. Bed. Oh, then. Yes. Bed. So up until this point, we've been using our bed cue. So now I'm gonna to start to fade that out and just ring the doorbell and use my body body language to help him onto the bed. So, come here, buddy. Yes. Oh boy. So you can see Arthur is starting to get the idea of it. We just need obviously, we would just obviously need more repetitions, and I would start to work a little more greater distance. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Wait. Good boy, my. Yes. Good boy.